Hello and welcome. I am the Autistic Modeler. Today, we're going to go over this truck I built. And we're going to go over some of the products I use and what kit I started with. I originally was going to do a regular build video, but I lost some of the footage. So we'll show what the footage I do have. And we'll go over some of the tricks and tips that I'd used. All right, you ready? Let's have fun. Okay, well, this is the kit I started with for the cab. It's an International S-Series F2674. Uh, this is a vintage Ertl kit. And after they issued this, it never came back again. I think the tooling got damaged or lost. I'm not sure what happened. But uh, I wish the tooling would come back. This is a great kit to build. I'll show you some of the details. It has working steering and really neat stuff. All right, let's show the detail of the truck. Well, first, let's go over the truck and its working features. All right, the hood actually opens. It's fully functional. It's hinged. You can see that big Detroit diesel engine in there. That turned out really well in the weathering. Does have functioning steering. You can see in there, maybe you can see the linkages moving. It's dirty and grimy all throughout. Even got a little, uh, some of the dirt rubbed off the driver's side window. So you can see out a little bit. I left the front windshield kind of clean because they would have used like a squeegee or something at a gas station to clean that off. But then not worried about the rest of the vehicle. Let's turn it around. There's some small details like fuel running out of the gas cap there down the tank and then the dirt on the mud flaps and the way I dusted some of this on the truck that's actually paint that's dusted onto the truck I'll show you how I did that and I'll show you the product let's look at that engine one more time on this side really see in there this is the product I used uh, it's made for marking over marks that are on cardboard like when you write on it with a sharpie marker this is the product number and I bought it off Amazon uh, it works really well and it looks like dirt when you spray it but all I did is just spray this really lightly across the truck until I got the desired effect that I wanted. You know, at different angles, that's the trick, is do it really lightly, really far away from the truck, and then different angles. And when it sprays, because it's got like a texture to it, like cardboard, it leaves like a dirt look to it. And it turned out really well. It was an experiment. This is the first time I've tried it, but it turned out pretty neat. A lot of folks ask what kind of glues I use. I mostly use Tamiya glues. This is very quick setting and extra thin, so it runs into the cracks. And, uh... It just seeps in there and it seals up really fast. So if it's something that you want to like move and position, don't use this. Use this guy. This guy here uh, glues it solid, but dries a little bit slower. So you got time to move the parts around and things like that. But uh, this works really well. It's good for like the frame rails that you need glued quickly and then they settle in and they're square. Now for the weathering, I use panel liners. 
They're super thin paints. And this one here is a black that I normally use around the windows and around the door lines. And it works really well, but this looks like grease when it dries. If you take a look at that gas tank, that's what I used on that. And it just runs right down the side. It's really thin, runs right down the side and it looks like that and it dries. And then for dirt, and that, you know, really thin watery dirt, I use this brown. And that looks like this when it dries. See how that door? right there and it looks like rust and dirt that's got in there and water also along that turn signal and it like water run down it and then for like new looking rust I use this I use this on uh, some of the stuff here like on this trailer let's go over to the trailer see that silver piece that I hold down gotten wet and rusty and it run down the side of the trailer just like that you just dip it on there and let it run where it's going to go because that's what water's going to do so that's the product i use it's a tamiya product uh, i'm not sure the number on it there's the item number right there 87209 and the brown is an 87132 and the black is 87131. And I just use this stuff here all throughout the build. Let's turn it around there so it looks better. All throughout the build, anywhere that water would sit or rust or oil, and it looks pretty good. Now, some of the other weathering effects I use, I use this product. That's 87079. Use this little brush, doodad. It's like a makeup brush. And you, and this is like a, turns, it's like a, pow, a crushed powder, this stuff. And you take that and you rub it on in spots like I did on this wheel. And it looks like rubbed in dirt and things like that. I did it on that gas tank there. The gas tank, most of the color is this is this uh, right here this darker color and you just rub it on there and you just get your desired effect that's basically all you got to do simple stuff and this one over here the orange and the blue and then this looks like grease uh, you rub that on and this looks like fresh burnt metal and you rub that together and it looks like that chrome that's burnt by the heat. So that's pretty neat. It's neat stuff. And I got one more product. Let me show you that. Now this is from AIM Products. It's number 110-3120. This is like a weathering powder. It's called Delta Dirt. And it's extremely messy. It's messy stuff. So don't wear nice clothes or get it on your table or anything because it doesn't come off. It makes a big mess, but it does look really neat. Let me show you here what it looks like on the axle. You see it on the axle? See how it's like a rough dirt? I got the Q-tip just a little damp, so it stuck to the Q-tip and rubbed it on there. And it looks like crunchy rust. that also did it on the bulldozer this is what it looks like on the bulldozer right there see all that like crusty rust that's on the pedal area and on that battery box that's all that delta dirt stuff all right let's take a look at the bulldozer and see how i weathered that like you see it, get it up close. Looks like crunchy dirt on there. And what I used for that was spackling compound for like drywall, like drywall compound, thinned with water and then mixed with brown paint. And when it dries, it turns rock hard. 
that's what I use for that. Put it on the tracks there and the blade. The different colors of brown. And on the engine, I used again, I used these accent liners right there for the oil and grease. Just like that. You just lay them on there, let them do their thing, you know. And sometimes you lay it on there like, oh, I messed it up, but that's okay. Because you can go back and change it around and it looks nice. It looks used and weathered really well. And there's silver in there. There's the accent liner. There's all sorts of stuff in there hidden to get the desired effect. And a blade works on this too. This was a great kit. That bulldozer was really neat. Let's look at this trailer. Now on the trailer, along with what I use at the Tamiya accent liners, I use this stuff. It's apple barrel paint. It's really cheap, it works really good. You water it down, which is regular water, and it's silvers and browns, anything that looks like dirt and rust. You don't have to use this brand, it's cheap. It's good stuff. And that's what I did for the top, different things lay it in there to make it look old. And for the sides, I painted the dirt on with that cardboard paint, just lightly sprayed on there, on the tires and on the chassis part. Just like that. And they're simple products you use. You don't have to use anything expensive, and you get their neat effects with it. All sorts of things you can use. Look around your house. I bet you got stuff now that you can use to, to make weathered and detail effects. Go to your local craft store, anything. Anything works. That turned out really well. It actually even surprised me. I thought it did a pretty well job on this. This was pretty neat. I enjoy weathering stuff and make it look good. It's not as hard as you think. Because you can make mistakes and it doesn't matter because you can cover up with more dirt or just change it. There's usually never mistakes on dirt. It goes everywhere. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you enjoyed me going over how I weathered this truck and and bulldozer. That was pretty fun. Now you can do the same thing. Simple stuff to use. Well, until next time, I'm the Autistic Modeler. Happy modeling.